In part one, we used sequences from the Collatz conjecture, also known as the 3x plus 1 problem, to generate sequences of MIDI notes, with a variety of strategies for mapping the sequences into notes. Now we'll use these so-called hailstone sequences to generate sound as raw frequencies. As explained in part one, the function used to generate the next number in the sequence is as follows. If the number is odd, triple it and add one. If the number is even, divide it by two. Repeating this operation yields wild numerical sequences that bounce around like hailstones, but always seem to return to one. This is the Collatz conjecture, the statement that any starting positive integer for this process will eventually return to one, which remains unsolved to this day. The simplest way to map these sequences to frequencies is to multiply each hailstone number by some base frequency. The frequency range of human hearing is about 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, but a 20 hertz sine wave is almost inaudible on most playback devices. So let's choose 30 hertz as our base frequency. I'm applying a subtle attack decay sustain release envelope on the pure sine waves to give them a bit of character, as well as a gentle low pass filter to smooth out the perceived loudness across the frequency range. As a simple alteration to this strategy, we could pick a higher bass frequency, say 200 hertz, and use some smaller frequency as the increment, for example, 10 hertz. The frequency for a given hailstone number is now the bass frequency plus the hailstone number multiplied by some increment frequency. With this strategy, we can shift the lowest frequencies up to a more audible range, while preventing higher notes from becoming inaudible too quickly.
Another option is to use the logarithm of the frequency. For music, log base 2 is a natural choice, since doubling a given frequency yields a frequency one octave higher. But just taking the log base 2 of the hailstone number directly yields too small of a difference in each number to produce interesting audio. So we can again use some starting base frequency and multiply the log of the hailstone number by some constant factor. I'll use 120 Hz as the base frequency and 30 as the factor.